Hello and welcome to the Car Diaries and another episode. Today we have the all new BMW 7 Series. So thank you very much to Graphics BMW in Perth for giving us this car for the weekend to enjoy and get out on the road with and see what it's all about. So this particular example is a 730D M Sport X Drive, so the four wheel drive version with all the M Sport kit on it as well, which I'm sure you'll agree looks absolutely fantastic. So it's finished in BMW's mineral white paintwork, which is a metallic paint, which again, I think looks stunning. And we've got some really nice contrasting elements, which I'll walk you through in just one moment. So starting off with the front end, the most striking part of the car that a lot of people are talking about is the massive front grille in the car. Bit of a Marmite thing. I like it, it gives the car a very powerful stance and a lot of presence, which is what the 7 Series is all about. The other reason for this grille as well is particularly for the Chinese market, they love big grills, and that's where BMW are selling a large amount of their 7 Series product. So as we can round the side of the car, you'll see the beautiful 20 inch diamond cut alloy wheels, which are done in a two tone effect with a sort of anthracite and diamond cut fascia, which look absolutely stunning. Being an M Sport as well, this car benefits from the M Sport braking system, which gives you dark blue M painted brake calipers. We've then got the new large, more L-shaped perpendicular lines that flow right along the lower side skirt of the car. Again, just showing the car's length, and I think makes it look particularly executive. Really, really nice touch. We've then got the gloss black window surrounds, sun protection glass, and as we come round the rear, my favorite part of this car, is the full length rear tail lamp. This car also has the M Sport Plus pack as well, which also entails the rear tail spoiler, or the lip spoiler as we call it, which again, small little details, but I think makes the car really, really stunning and just stand out that little bit more. And we've then got these massive exhaust tips. Now there is actually a smaller tip within that, but again, really, really nice and just makes the car look that bit more special from the exterior. So hello and welcome to the all new BMW 7 Series and what a beautiful place it is to be. This car has been designed with luxury in mind. And I mean, everything you touch in the car is just leather. Beautiful leather steering wheel. It's Nappa leather throughout as well, which is a softer, finer grain leather. It means it's very, very soft, but very, also very, very supportive as well, which is nice. We've got heated seats front and rear, we've got heated steering wheel, we've got quad climate control. That's right, quad. So it means all four occupants can have temperatures set individually if they wish to do so. This car also benefits from the technology pack. So a few really cool items, such as the heads up display, which shows your speed. It also shows you the speed limit in whatever area you're in as well, which is very useful, particularly when you're driving through an area that you don't know very well. We've got all the tech in this thing. So We've got gesture control, which basically means if I want to turn my tunes up, just simply do this. If I want to change song. And we can change songs like so. We can then turn it back down or turn it off completely if we want to do so, just by doing that. There's a basically a little camera up here, a little sensor that detects exactly your hand movement. So it's just almost putting your arm on the armrest here and just getting the exact spot and it'll work perfectly, but it works really, really nicely to be fair. So this is a big, big car, which is the only thing, which to be honest with you, I would much prefer to be sitting in the back of, getting chauffeur driven around. So this is a standard wheelbase model, long wheelbase is available, but to be honest, I'm six foot three and rather lanky and I don't exactly find legroom tight, so as you can see, plenty of legroom, headroom, everything in the back. And as I say, you've got lots of functionality in terms of setting up the climate control as you wish in the back, having your heated seat on. There's lots of air vents. You've got a Harman Kardon sound system. You've got an ashtray if you want to smoke a cigar in the back, which I could see quite a few people potentially doing. Um, and yeah, it's just overall a really, really nice place to be. So I suppose one of the direct competitors to the 7 Series is probably the new Mercedes-Benz S-Class. S-Class is a fantastic car, however, it's quite a bit more expensive than the BMW 7 Series. Now this car here lists at £72,000, however, there are some fantastic deals going out there. So the guys at Grassics BMW, if you hit them up, they'll all be keen to help you out and work out a fantastic deal for you on this car or on another 7 Series model if you were interested. 
So we've decided to take the car out onto some little country roads now to see what it's like out of an urban environment. So we're going to flick it up into sport mode. This obviously is not a sport car, but um, you know, let's see how it handles and what the dynamic capabilities of this car are. So I'm getting on the paddles here using the flappy paddle system. And I tell you, it actually pulls really well. There's so much torque, it's fantastic. You can also flick across the sport gearbox setting there if you wanted, but it goes really, really nicely. The dampers are a little bit firmer as well in sport mode, so it does corner a lot flatter, which is nice. So, I mean, this, yeah. Like, this isn't just a car that you would want to be driven in. It's actually, you know, a very nice driver's car as well. Get the heads-up display here, and I've also got the, the sport heads-up display, which is pretty cool as well. Brakes are good as well. So this has got the M performance brakes, which braking system is fantastic. The one thing that annoys me a bit with all modern cars, and they've all got these things, particularly BMW, is it's got the all-on pedestrian intelligent safety thing, which basically um, prevents any collisions, makes sure it keeps you in line as well, um, so you're not swerving all over the road or anything like that. Um, however, the steering wheel kind of pulls at you, which I'm not a massive fan of. Luckily, BMW do allow you to switch that off, so you've just got to hold the centre button in for five seconds and that will allow you to switch it off and it means you can actually be in control which is what I prefer but yeah it's seriously impressive for a big big car I mean the four wheel drive just means that you, it puts the power down really nicely yeah and brakes are impressive as well actually so coming back in I'm just going to pop it back into comfort press comfort again and it puts it into comfort plus mode for added comfort, um, which is, is nice, and that just really softens the dampers up um, and allows for a nice sort of cloud-like experience. It is honestly very, very similar to, to that of a, a Rolls-Royce or a Bentley um, in terms of the ride quality when you've got it in this comfort plus setting. It's, it's, it's really, really impressive. We've also, as you'll see, got the ambient lights on now, um, which you can have on at all times of the day, but you can see them a little bit better now. It's starting to get a little bit darker. Um, so you've got various different colour options for them as well. Um, so you can flick through and, and change them to your personal preference. And you can obviously also change the brightness of them as well. So if you wanted to make them that little bit brighter, or if you prefer a dimmer, more ambient light, then you can obviously tweak that as you wish to do so. So going through some traffic here. I mean, the gearbox in this thing is just absolutely wonderful. It's so silky smooth. You really don't feel gear changes at all. And the car, even in tight spaces like this, you know, it doesn't actually feel that big. The only time it feels big is when you're parking. Um, and the car actually has self-park mode anyway. Um, so to be honest, you don't actually really have to worry about that too much. You can just allow it to, to do so if you've got the nerve. And we were actually trying it earlier. Um, and the chaps in at Graphics BMW were mentioning to me as well that you don't actually even have to put your foot on the brake. You can literally take your feet off the brake and off the accelerator and not do nothing and the car will do everything for you. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've quite got the nerve for that. So my, my foot was sort of um, hovering over the, 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 the brake um, just in case, um, but really, really impressive um, capabilities. The car has also got a 3D display um, showing you the actual physical car when you are parking. So it gives you a sort of bird's eye view showing how close you're getting to curbs and things like that as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to give the self-parking park assistant a try. So I believe I just drive by space, indicate, and then the car should theoretically park itself. So come to a stop, I'll press P, take my hands off, press brake pedal, select parking space, take your hands off the wheel, and the car's going to do it itself. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. This is scary, worrying. Ah, don't know if I like this at all. It's quite tight actually. It's doing it. Oh, oh, stop. Oh, it's done it. Oh, and it's moving forward. Brake. I'm not touching the brake or the accelerator. It's done it. Hey, amazing. Fantastic. There we go. And that is Park Assist working for itself with the fantastic M Sport seatbelts on as well.
So my favorite thing I think with this car, to be honest with you, is this beautiful interior. I mean, it's a, such a lovely place to be, which is ultimately what you want, because that's where you're spending the majority of your time. Um, so these Napa leather seats are stunning. And as you've probably seen as well, we've got some beautiful quilting going on there as well, which is a really, really nice touch. Um, I mean, in terms of the technology in this thing, it's got everything you could ever want uh, and more. Um, we've got a wireless charging for my iPhone there. We've got heated seats front and rear. We've got heated steering wheel. We've got various colors of ambient lighting. We've got heads up display. And last but not least, and I'll show you this once the sun is out my eyes here. Um, the car actually drives itself. So it's got a mode, which is called, if I just flick through here, assisted driving. So not only will the car keep distance from the car in front with the adaptive cruise function, but it will also actually steer the car for you as well, which is quite interesting and also quite unnerving actually. So let's see if it will do so. So I'll take my hands off the wheel. I'll keep them near it. Oh, here we go. That's scary. It's actually scary how good it is. So you need to obviously have white lines for it to work properly. Um, so it's doing it here, there's white lines in the road. It is literally steering the car. And it'll flash a little orange lights illuminate there just to tell you to touch the steering wheel after a certain period of time. Well, let's see if we come up to this corner up here, if it'll actually go round itself. I'll just keep my hands over the steering wheel just in case. Hold them just as we come up to it. Yeah, I'll let go. Right, I'm going to let go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. So it's actually going round, <laughs> going round the corner itself. Which is very similar to the Tesla self-drive function. I believe the laws in the UK mean that you can only let go for 10 seconds but there we go it's completely steering itself which is bizarre very unnerving but very very cool and it just shows you how much technology is coming on i mean literally we're going around the corner here and i'm not doing anything it's literally steering so yeah very very impressive very impressive um so as the bags of technology in this car as standard as well which is a great thing with BMW 7 Series um, and this car lists at £72,000 but they're doing some very good deals very attractive deals on the 7 Series model at the moment so I know Grassix BMW would be delighted to sort you out with a fantastic deal on such a car. So yeah we just wanted to say a big thank you to Grassix BMW for lending us this absolutely beautiful BMW 7 Series. For any of you out there that are interested in purchasing a new or approved pre-owned BMW, please get in touch with us and we'd be delighted to put you in touch with Grassix. So as always, thank you very much for watching our videos. Please make sure to subscribe, hit that bell button to be notified of new uploads and make sure to hit that like button as well. All your support is always much appreciated. Thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.